Aloha guys, welcome in again. David here from CryptoTutorials.org. So today I'm gonna to go over how to remove Matic from your Gemini account and transfer it into a, a wallet like the MetaMask wallet. All right, along the way you're gonna probably run into some interesting errors. You may even see, feel like you've lost your Matic, uh, but I can guide you through each of these bits step by step. So just do me a favor, click the like and subscribe buttons down below. Let YouTube know you appreciate me putting this video together. Let's get started. Warning, I am not a financial advisor and this is not investment advice. Seek a professional. One important thing to know before you start in on this is that there is risk galore in crypto. Uh, as we all know, there's rug pulls, there's scams, there's all kinds of different things. So far, I've only figured out one way to absolutely mitigate the risk and make sure that you have no worries, and that's to get your crypto for free. That's right, go to getmyfreecrypto.com below and I'm gonna teach you how to sign up for airdrops that are going on literally every single week giving free crypto. This is one way you cannot lose. The crypto goes up in value, you sell it, it goes down in value, who cares? It was free. Go to getmyfreecrypto.com. You don't wanna miss out on this airdrop masterclass because we are gonna be taking it off the free market soon. All right, well it's time to move that Matic on over to my uh, wallet, to my MetaMask wallet, so that I can do some things there on QuickSwap with it. But when I go to KuCoin for my withdrawal, it says wallet maintenance. And it said this for about a week, uh, which is really frustrating. Um, and I love you, KuCoin, but that's just terribly disappointing. Um, I cannot move my Matic. So what I had to do was go over to my old friend Gemini, okay? So I'm going to go to Gemini and I'm going to withdraw from Gemini. And I will select my currency, which is going to be Matic. Where's my Matic? Matic, right there. Continue. And I want to transfer it to, and I'm going to go into my MetaMask. I'm going to make sure it's on the Matic main net. And I'm going to copy that, copy my address, and then we'll go paste that into here. And I always just double check to make sure that my first four and my last ones that show up on here do match, just because that's like a security feeling for me. So I want to withdraw everything I got. Uh, 112.94. All right. Let's continue. And amount withdraw from primary to this other one. Yes, let's request a withdraw. And I have to enter a seven digit code that they are going to text me. That's it right there. I submit that. And the withdrawal has been requested. All right, so now, all we have to do is wait, and we should see, oops, we should see an arrival here before too long of some Matic. All right, so it's been about a half an hour um, since I last jumped on here, and I found a really interesting error happened. Um, if you can recall, I was sending my uh, my um, Matic from Gemini out and I set everything up uh, with my MetaMask so that I had my Matic mainnet, my network, copied the account address and sent it here and it never showed up. Now Matic is supposed to be super fast. It's supposed to show up in the blink of an eye practically. So I got a little bit worried and I went and started looking around and sure enough, here is the record in my um, address wallet and you can see that I've got Matic and Ethereum and HyperSign Identity Tokens, a few of my different tokens that I have. So obviously the Matic wasn't lost uh, and I had to do some more digging. And the next thing I figured out was that if I added the token here in Ethereum, it sure as heck showed up there. So uh, I did some research and what I've come to discover is that this can happen. You can end up with your Matic on the Ethereum network instead of on the um, Polygon network and you have to bridge it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to bridge it in case anybody else runs into this and then we'll add this as an extra video uh, because it's, it's probably a royal pain for anybody else who's come into this thing. I know it is for me. Um, so we 
we're going to do a bridge assets. And I'm supposed to connect my MetaMask wallet. And yes, I want to allow it to connect. Interesting. Setting for it. Okay. All right. So now they have access to my Ethereum wallet here. Uh, how it works. Okay, so I want to move funds from Ethereum to Polygon. From Ethereum, I'm not moving my Ether. I'm moving my Matic token. Boom. So I want to move my Matic token. I want to move all my Matic token from Ethereum to Polygon. And... Polygon is now from Ethereum to Polygon. I'm surprised it's not showing me a balance there, but I'm gonna trust in the process. Moving funds from Ethereum to Polygon. Um, seven to eight minutes. Okay. So I wanna go back and point out one thing that I missed during the live process, uh, but I noticed when I was editing. It showed me here a little pop-up that said that staking is done on Ethereum, not on the Matic network. And that's kind of actually important because part of this Ethereum, I wanted to stake. Um, I've wanted to try this out. I'm gonna do some of it. I'm gonna um, put into the quick swap, into pools, but some of it I wanted to actually stake. So looks like I'm gonna have to wait until I can get some of my Ethereum out of KuCoin and do that separately because I've already moved this over and, and it said there that if I wanted to stake it, I shouldn't have moved it over. So probably the smart thing would have been to leave a little bit of it on the Ethereum network there so that I could stake that and transfer the rest. But uh, I missed that in the live. So if you are thinking of staking it, be careful there. All right, let's continue. Approved deposit is 21 cents. Complete deposit is 98 cents. I have to pay some Ethereum gas fees to make this happen because they gave me Ethereum Matic, but I am willing to pay that. And confirm my transfer from Ethereum network to Polygon network, Plasma Bridge. It will take seven days when you have to transfer your funds back to Ethereum. Okay, well, I don't plan on transferring them back. Uh, transaction fee, 21 cents. Yes, let's continue. Allow it to spend it. Yes, confirm. That total of a dollar and eight cents. And now the transaction has begun. So this is supposed to take about eight minutes to move all of my Matic um, over to Polygon. And then it should show up in my wallet, uh, I hope. All right. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. I'm going to sit back and bring it in in just a second when I do finally get this transaction completed. All right, so I checked back here in just a moment ago, and it looks like I can confirm the deposit now. Pay the last 98 cents in gas fees. Uh, oh, man, even more. It's a decent chunk of gas fees, man, just to, to do that. But um, I guess it is what it is. That's what I had to deal with. So I thought I was moving along earlier, but I guess I wasn't. I guess that last click I had to make before it officially started to go through. Um, so it just switched to this, the screen did. It says the transfer will take seven to eight minutes and then the balance will be updated. So I'm gonna check back in seven to eight minutes um, and see where we are. All right, so just clicked over here and it looks like it's now showing Matic token, Plasma, uh, balances on the Polygon main net. So let's take a look here. Now, if we pull up my, here, let's go. What are my assets right now? Oh, no Matic left on there. Let's go see what we got over here on our Matic main net. Oh, we got Matic. All right. 
So that should solve the problem of getting the Matic to actually show up where it is supposed to. Uh, well, I hope this has been helpful, and hopefully you didn't run into that headache I did. But in case you did, at least you found a way through it. We can get past it. We can get it moved to where we need to. Um, if you made it this far, you probably got some good value out of this video. So do me a favor. Hit that like button. Smash that big subscribe so you get to see more great videos from me. And I'll keep making them and trying to help you guys out in any way that I can. I appreciate everything. Much aloha.